The hybrid offspring of domestic pigs and wild boars are increasing in number across parts of Fukushima Prefecture affected by the 2011 nuclear accident. These animals appear to be the offspring of wild boars and domestic pigs left behind by their owners. NHK surveyed 11 municipalities with evacuation zones due to the radioactive fallout from the crippled nuclear plant. Officials of five of those prefect or municipalities say the number of hybrid offspring appears to be on the rise. Tomioka town officials have reported 17 cases where hybrid pigs broke into houses and barns in search of food. I am so shocked by what the wild pigs are doing to us. Officials at the Environment Ministry say the animals give birth to larger litters than wild boars, around 10 piglets annually. Ministry officials and local hunters are culling the animals as they could interfere with residents returning to their home. The largest exhibitions for eco-friendly products has started in Tokyo. Companies and organizations are showcasing their cutting-edge green technologies. More than 700 businesses, municipalities, and education institutes gathered on the opening day. Japanese housing maker Panahome is displaying a house with a roof made entirely of solar panels. The firm says the improved panels can generate enough electricity for everyday use when combined with storage batteries. Solar power systems are attracting a lot of attention because households can utilize natural energy and also get money under the government's renewable energy purchasing program. Sumitomo Rubber is displaying tires made from natural rubber mixed with pine oil and other non-synthetic materials. No petroleum is used as is in conventional tires. Home appliances that can save power are also in the spotlight. This event will run through Saturday.
Concerns tonight over dolphins dying along our shores. Action News Noel McLaren is live on the action cam in Neptune Beach. Noel, a new study suggests that those dolphin deaths could suggest bad news for us. That's what the Georgia Aquarium is studying right now as they collect samples from right here along our St. John's County coastline. More than 30 documented diseased dolphins have washed up along our local coast in the last month. Scientists at the Georgia Aquarium tell me the Morbilla virus is to blame. Although the disease itself can't be passed on to humans, Georgia Aquarium field reps worry. This could be an early warning sign for us. Dolphins with weakened immune systems are capable of carrying other infections that humans can catch. Scientists think unhealthy dolphins could also be a sign of an unhealthy ocean environment. The bigger picture is what we're more concerned about, why we're having an outbreak like this and what could cause these type of things. What makes you believe that because the dolphins aren't doing well, that humans might not be doing well in the future? Well, a lot of samples we take um, deal with such things as mercury levels um, and dolphins are feeding on fish. We eat all the same, same things that dolphins are, are feeding on. I reached out to other marine experts who agreed that dolphin health could serve as a barometer for humans and other animals. Jacksonville University biologist Quentin White told me, quote, while people aren't directly impacted by the Morbilla virus, the disease is an indicator of greater problems in the world's oceans. Dolphins are one of the top level predators, so if they're showing signs of stress, humans eventually could too. While there is currently no cure for the Morbilla virus, the hope is with more samples that are collected right here along the northeast Florida coast, we will gain more insight into how now, to fishermen cure. in northern Japan are going to great lengths to deliver fresh seafood to restaurants in Tokyo. Their catch is squid. Squid so fresh it's still moving when it arrives at the table. NHK World's Kazuya Osakara shows us how they do it. Live squid. These Tokyo diners are enjoying a rare treat. The squid served at this restaurant were caught in northern Japan, 700 kilometers away. The price is $42 a plate, but customers can't seem to get enough. A bag of seawater and oxygen keeps the squid alive all the way to the table. The journey starts here in Hakodate Port. This is where fishermen unload their catch. Fish wholesaler Hideo Haruki was looking for a way to deliver live squid to Tokyo. Packing live fish is nothing new, but squid are different. They are easily agitated. If they spill ink in the bag, they die. Haruki came up with a way to solve this problem. Careful screen. He knows from experience that strong squid can survive shipping. The trick is to identify the strong one. Haruki carries out the first screening himself. He sorts through the catch as soon as it's unloaded at the port. I checked the legs because they weakened first. The selected ones are sent immediately to the parking facility. Workers here carry out another check. They are looking for special characteristics. We pick ones that look calm. How can you tell it's a calm type? It's obvious from their color and the way they swim. As a rule, whitish squid are nervous travelers, known to squirt ink and puncture bugs. Brown colored squid are usually more relaxed and more likely to pass the checks. The white ones are removed. Only the strongest and hardiest travelers are selected for the long trip to Tokyo. This squid doesn't squirt ink, even when it's swayed. The live squid has become a hit product. About 600 packs are sold each day. 
and they fetch a good price, 20% more than ordinary squid. Fishermen see it as a promising market. With better distribution, live squid could be really popular across Japan. Soaring fuel prices are causing more fishermen to give up their jobs. We're trying hard to make sure squid is traded at higher prices for the sake of fishermen. The squid parks are flown to Tokyo the same day they are unloaded at port. The idea of delivering live squid to Tokyo is wonderful. It's a revolution. Live squid could someday reach consumers abroad. Trial projects have successfully delivered the water parks to Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Thailand. And the squid tasted as fresh mm. as the ones served in Hokkaido. Kazuya Osakada, NHK World, Hakodate.